player 2 has joined the game. Hey yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to the Two Player Co-op Podcast. As always, I'm one of your hosts here, Kevin, along with my brother from my mother, show one. How we doing? Fantastic. We're going to fly through this opening because we have a lot to talk about. If you didn't know, this is the Two Player Co-op Podcast. And if this is the first time you're seeing, listening, or hearing to us, this is the Two Player Co-op Podcast. We're just about every week except for last week. I'm sorry. We'll talk about that here in a second. Two brothers get together to tell you everything you need to know about in the world of video games. If you like that, make sure you like the video. Spit it the other way. Do you do it on purpose now? No. No. <laughs> okay. The wordy. Like the video. Share. Subscribe. All that other stuff. Uh, well, actually, share it to, to your friends, family, and everyone in betwixt. Yes. If you really like us, don't look at it. That's what she said. No. no. <laughs> well, okay. You can go to patreon.com slash don't even do it <laughs> slash two player co op, just like our producers, Steve Appleton, Aunt Sue, and Vernon Slayton did, as well as our affiliate, James Solar. If you like merch, you can go to teespring.com slash stores slash two player co op. And if we ever get to twitching again, it will be at twitch.tv slash two player underscore co-op. Until we are out of this pandemic, every week that we are on here, I will tell everyone watching, listening, or hearing to us to wear your woohoo mask. I didn't accent- accentuate the first syllable, but I'm like, <laughs> we, I'm just like, we got to go. We got so much to talk about. Um, <laughs> wear your mask. Uh, yeah. So, um, I don't know how we got here, but we I did. I came up the stairs. I live here. Um, <laughs> first off, like I alluded to in the opening, sorry about last week. Uh, life got in the way. Jess was out of town, and I was playing single dad. So we didn't do a podcast last week. And also, there was really not that. It would have been like a 30-minute podcast, honestly. there was It would have just been like, about. man, I can't wait for the PS5. Yeah. It's almost here. It's almost here. So we didn't do it last week. That's why I say at the opening just about every week um, from here on out until one of us is off. It'll be every week. Um, but I, I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen with, with Jess being out of town, but it did happen. So sorry about that. But we are back and hopefully better than ever. Um, Like I say, like, subscribe, share, also comment. And I want you to comment down below if you got... Into the next gen, which it's going to be weird to saying we're, we can't say next gen anymore because now it's this, it's this gen, gen and the PS4 is last gen, which is so weird. Um, but comment below and let us know what you got. PS5, Series S, Series X, or a new graphics card. Or any combination of the well, yes, for all to those mentioned things. Yeah. things. <laughs> Solar, I expect you to say PS5 and Series X. Shout out to you. Um So comment below and let us know what you got to get you into the next generation, which is now the current generation of gaming. Um, I was thinking... Next week, our topic will be, what do we want out of the next generation? I'm Seven years from now. Solar says, I'm here, but Patreon makes me lose. Leave the broadcast a comment. Oh, James, if you're watching live, I think you have to just click whatever to actually open it up in YouTube. Don't just push play on Patreon. There's got to be a way to click like to YouTube or whatever, and that'll let you get in the chat and everything. Um, you'll hear this 15 seconds from now, but I think that's what you need to do. Um, when I was drawing up the document, I thought at first I wrote down, this is our first console <coughs> launch on this podcast. But I was like, wait, no switch switch. And this is now the second console that I've gotten on launch day. Sean has gotten one on launch day. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but this, like, I don't even know if we'll still be doing this when the PS six launches, if it ever launches, you know, like this is special. And and like the switch was obviously it was a console launch, but it's not the same thing, you know, yeah. like it was a mid generation. It was a Nintendo console, weird hybrid thing, which I love. I'm not disparaging it at all, but It's not the same thing as the Series X and the PS5 launching. Would you agree? I would agree. Okay. You would or you do? I pluba. (laughs) I pluba. Did you know there was a sequel to that? 
Somebody was talking about this on a podcast. I think it was Game Scoop. Somebody last week mentioned some game I've never heard of, which is the actual sequel to Another World slash Out of This World. I feel like I may have known that, but I totally forgot if I did. And if I did, why would I have never looked it up? Which yeah. I don't think I did. I think it's I did, super. I, I think it's super hard to. Get. I mean, you can emulate it, but I think it was super hard to get when it was like same style of game. Like I think so. Yeah, not like a flashback. Uh, right. Fade to black kind no, of thing. No, not no. Interesting. You wouldn't have had to watch 16 bit. Like I same. It, it sounded like yeah. It, it might have been 32, I'm not sure, but yeah. The same the the cinematic platform yeah, yeah, as yeah. it were. So yeah. Uh James, if you ever get in there, you can comment, and let us know. Uh, Chat, I mean. Um before we get into this thing. You know we are a Sony first podcast. We just are. Are you looking for the sacred symbols? Yeah. Are they not on this? I thought they were. They are. They're on the controller. Yeah. Supposedly they are on the inside of the fins. Baylor. Baylor. Yeah. I see the texture, but we'll we'll get into that. We'll get into that. <laughs> um. So we are a PlayStation-centric podcast, obviously. If you've been listening to us for any amount of time, you know that. Um, but I do want to say a shout-out to Microsoft for having their best console launch ever. According to Microsoft, they had more consoles sold than any other Xbox launch. The Series S has added, quote, more players than any other Xbox, end quote. Series S? Yes. Really? Really? Because it's low price and everything, Game Pass, I I guess I get it. Uh, they also had the most games played during uh, any they're there. Xbox launch. So you do see them? Even when we're talking about Xbox, we're thinking PlayStation. Mm-hmm. But you can't, I mean, you literally, like, I cannot see them with my naked eye. No. They're so no, tiny. No, I just see sandpaper. That is crazy. Um, I wonder how somebody even, like, first realized that. So shout out to Xbox. Congratulations to you. Unfortunately, we can't really talk about the Series S or X because neither of us got one. I see James Solar. Hey, guys. I got it. Thanks. All right. Good. Um, so congratulations to Xbox. Uh, anything you want to add, Sean? No, I mean, I have nothing to add. But yeah, congrats to them. Yeah. I was thinking it's funny. I was just looking at this as you're wearing your normal shirt, and I have... I don't remember the, the last time I probably wore a normal shirt was obviously before the pandemic, but I think it was when <laughs> what we is were a out, normal shirt, not me wearing a nerd t-shirt every time. Like obviously I'm wearing a place like just shirt. on this podcast. Yeah. Oh, not no, life not, in general. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, 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 I just, I just wear my boxers and a t-shirt. I mean, I do. No, I don't. I don't work in my boxers. It's too cold now. Um, yes. Boxers. If you were wondering boxers, Sean, uh, boxer briefs. Okay. That answers that. So congratulations to Xbox. I will say it is crazy that we're even at this point. What? It just reminds me of, I don't know if it was like a, I want to say it was from some TV show or something Um, from like the 90s, like long time ago. And like there's a joke where somebody said like somebody, there's like three people and they said, what kind of underwear do you wear? And the first guy says like boxers. Second guy says briefs. Third guy says, depends. <laughs> <laughs> and if I had been a little bit quicker on the draw, that's how I would have answered that. But I blew it. But I'm going to tell the joke anyway. I'm 39. Check back when I'm 40. <laughs> um, it's crazy that we even got to this point that in the worst year ever of 20, not the worst year ever, because I, I mean, it's not, it's bad, but it's not the worst ever. Like we're not in the great recession. We're not living through, you know, the the plague did you feel like we are or read this stupid 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 kotaku ps5 review no it goes through everything oh it does this it does this it's really great and then like the final like two or three paragraphs are like but i would be remiss if i said about all this without actually talking about what's going on in the world and how it makes this console launch not even really seem worth it because we're in the middle of a pandemic, we have this election going, blah, 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 blah. And how being able to even have a PS5 right now means that you're, like, privileged and all this stuff. I 
I saw they posted an article <sighs> where they said the, the PlayStation 5 came out and then it was the rainbow in the background, the PS5. And I'm like, I don't know what you're trying to say, but I'm not giving you the click. This is so <laughs> I wish stupid. I hadn't. Stupid. Like, I don't know how they've survived this long with Schreier being gone. Yeah. But I, my prediction is by the end of 21, Kotaku will be gone. By the end of 20. Probably. I could yeah. see that. If not before. But it is crazy that we even got to this point in 2020 with COVID and everything going on. The fact that we got these three next-gen consoles launching is amazing, and it's a credit to everybody uh, at, at Sony and at Microsoft that designed these things. A million shout-outs to everybody that's actually manufacturing these things. Like the, the fact that we even got to this point is insane to me in this year. Yeah. I, I mean, granted, they are... You know, pretty hard to come across, but for the most part, a lot of people got them. Yeah. And I had my doubts that, you know, it was going to come out when they said it was going to. It, I, or before they even said when it was going to, were we going to get it this year? Were they like, going to be available at all? And I feel like even like a week or two before Series X gave their date and then we got the PS5 date, like a week or two before that, I was like, I'm still not convinced these things are coming out. So glad I was wrong. Um, but here we are. We are here. And that's there. Uh, so we got, we both did get the PS5. Sean, first, before you talk about your journey, did you see, because you're not as big into Sacred Symbols. I know you like Colin, but Sacred Symbols. Did you see what Chris Raygun happened to him? His PS5, he got it from Amazon, and he was tracking, tracking, and it says delivered. So he goes outside, nothing. Ver. Yeah, but yeah, he goes out to he then he goes to his Amazon box, like in his apartment complex, whatever he lives in, his whatever, nothing there. Calls him going back and forth, nothing, no help at all, kind of like you talking to Walmart. And they're like, Well, sometimes what happens is when it says it was delivered, it was actually just transferred to a different truck or to a shipping facility or whatever. He finally, his Amazon updates that it was delivered and it shows a picture of his box, and he's like, it was delivered to the apartment complex across the street to which he had to sneak into and be like, look at the box, Chris Ray gun. That's me. I mean, it didn't say Chris Ray gun. It said Chris Maldonado um, <clears throat> to finally get the stupid thing and bring it back and take it, you know, make it safe. Also, he said it was clearly tampered with like the Amazon guy or whatever was trying to look in the box because the tape was kind of pulled up and stuff. And he's like, this is the scary. Like you order an iPhone dongle or you order a, a, a Ethernet cable or whatever. And it, nothing ever goes wrong with those deliveries. But this, this $500 machine that's impossible to come by. Of course, this is going to be the time where it gets delivered across the street. For what it's worth, FedEx still doesn't show that mine was ever delivered. Beautiful. I could just be like, hey, FedEx, I ordered a PS5 and you never gave it to me. Uh, pay up. You never gave it to Walmart. I mean, yeah, to Walmart. Sean. Yes. Tell the viewers and listeners and hearing twos about your journey. It was a long journey. Um, I ordered, I would like to believe I was one of the first. I mean, it was Walmart, so I was definitely one of the first in general. You had to have been the first in Kyrieville. Actually, I was, but I canceled it. <laughs> yeah. Because you got yours like, like, a minute after I did. Yeah. Right. Um, everything was going swimmingly up until... Well, you don't know that it ever was going swimmingly. Well, as far as I knew, yeah. it was. Um, so it came out Thursday. I want to say it was like Sunday or Monday. Probably Monday. Um, I got an email saying, hey, uh, it may be delayed. I can't remember what the email actually said. A day or two or two or three days, something like that. I was like, oh, God. And between then and now, I did no fewer than probably 12 different chats with Walmart. Just saying, I got this. What does this mean? Should I be worried? I was one of the first. This is bullcrap. My tone got increasingly more and more perturbed as the days and hours went on. And I got, I literally, I got like different information every single time. The first time they're like, nah, it still shows it'll be there Thursday, so you should be fine. Those emails just went out, just, you know, this may happen just kind of thing. Case, yeah. I'm like, okay. And the days kept going, and I never got any alerts that it was anything more than just preparing. And I just kept getting more and more annoyed. And then 
all of a sudden it's Thursday. And Which I you've think taken the day off for. Yeah, I took Thursday and Friday off. I think Thursday morning, I finally had a notification through Walmart that it was shipped. However, however, um, when I took that tracking number and looked it up in FedEx, all FedEx said is we've received a label has been created, right. basically. But Walmart said shipped. By the way, quick antidote, anecdote, not antidote. Quick anecdote. I ordered, remember when uh, Campo Santo said their store was closing? Yeah. I ordered a shirt and a print. It was, the label was created by USPS and they were waiting a shipment on October 21st. Still nothing? Nothing. Wow. No no update to the tracking info or anything, but I was so worried about this that I didn't have time to worry about that. But tomorrow I'm going to be like, where the hell is my shirt and my print? <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Um. So, um, then I remembered I also ordered Demon Souls separately. And I'm like, I never, I just totally forgot about it because I never received any kind of like follow up Do you notice communication. How I'm not taking my hand off. Yes. 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 Um, and also, for what it's worth, I guess Demon Souls technically was late too. It didn't even come in on Thursday. Oh, really? Not that it, well, well, it didn't matter, do anything right? with it anyway. But, huh. Um, so, I looked up that tracking information. And it's also said shipped with Walmart, but FedEx said, we don't know. <laughs> uh, no, with FedEx, it was at least at FedEx in Memphis. Okay. And it went from the initial stage of like label created or whatever to being at FedEx in Memphis within like 12 hours. Hmm. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe that also will happen or has happened with my PlayStation and just never updated, whatever. Thursday comes and goes. I don't hear anything. I'm still doing chats with Walmart. They're not giving me anything that I want to hear. Meanwhile, you're like, I hate my brother so much. Um, oh, I hated a lot of people. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then Friday. Um, oh, Thursday. I think Thursday... Yeah, Thursday evening. And who's to say I may not have made it anyway, but I saw I got a notification from Wario that PS5s were up on Amazon. Right. I'm like, let me check. Like, if it's actual, like, it's up and two-day shipping, I might just go ahead and do it. Say, yeah. screw it. But if I check and it's, like, to be delivered December 5th or something, I'll just be like, screw it. So I looked, and sure enough, it said delivery on Saturday the 6th, 15th. 14th 14th and i was like man should i do it like just in case my walmart thing ends up being really delayed and then i ended up not doing it and then i'm like screw it i'm just gonna do it by, by the, the time i went back it was gone, it was yeah, gone. i was gonna say even if you would have just done it then by the time you hit checkout it would yeah i may nice not have been it but at that point i was like I've, I've missed out now i'm really in trouble so now it's friday i don't hear anything um i called walmart and i said Look, you guys are saying it's shipped. I had done a chat thing with FedEx saying, this is what I'm hearing. This is what Walmart says. Do you have any more information? And they're like, no, we, we haven't gotten it. All we have is the label or whatever. So I talked to Walmart. I'm like, you guys say it's shipped. I talked to FedEx. They don't have it. Where is my PlayStation? And she was basically just like, well, I don't know. It It's shipped. Our thing says it's shipped. And then I'm like, well... FedEx doesn't have it, so clearly, you know, there's a disconnect here somewhere. Then, miraculously, all of a sudden she's like, oh, it does say it shipped, like literally shipped, which looking back, I don't believe her, uh, two or three o'clock, and she also just, not even a time, two or three o'clock this morning. That's not how tracking numbers work, but okay. Yeah. So supposedly it left Walmart. Or maybe maybe it showed 2.05 a.m., but she didn't know if that was her time or Easter time Maybe, or yeah. Benefit of doubt. So I was like, whatever. I guess that's that's news anyway. So I had just given up hope. I'm like, now maybe I'll get it Saturday if I'm lucky. So it's Friday afternoon. I'm just annoyed and just whatever. I go to warm up my lunch. I hear... Ding. Like ding, because I've got my phone <laughs> off of silent for like the first time Ever. since I've had it. Since you had a notification flip phone. volume yeah. all the way up, and I hear a sound, I'm like, I wonder what that was. Eh, whatever, I'll check in a little bit. I'm warming up my leftovers. 
I go and check, and sure enough, I've got a text from some random number saying, your order's ready to be picked up at Walmart. And I was like, <laughs> and there was two. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I went and looked on Walmart. <clears throat> Walmart says also the same thing. It's here, ready to be picked up, whatever. FedEx still shows nothing. It shows Demon Souls being delivered, nothing for my PlayStation. So I'm like, oh, what do I do? I dumped my food out and left. I never ate lunch Friday, by the way. I went to Walmart and I'm like, I'm I'm sort of excited, but I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm like, I don't know that they really have it because FedEx doesn't show that they delivered it. I have two separate orders. They both came through simultaneously. Yeah. Did somebody see Demon Souls? Be like, oh, Sean's orders here. Click. Oops. Click. That was the wrong Which one. one was it? Click. Okay. You know, I thought it was going to be something like that. So I went there and I was ready to just, you know, blow a blame gasket. it on them if they don't hand me my PlayStation. Be like, this says it's here. Where is it? You guys, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I see the guy coming up. And I was expecting to see a PlayStation <clears throat> box. That's what I was going to ask. No, it was just in a box because that's how it was shipped there. Okay. But I see the guy I talked to wheeling it up in a shopping cart. And that's when I texted you. I'm like, I think I see it. <laughs> and then sure enough, he like gave it to me and I got out of there. But I'm like, I hope this is it. It's got my name on it. This could be an Xbox but, for all I know. <laughs> yeah. So I eventually in the car, I peeled the tape back enough just to see it. And I was like, finally. <sighs> and this was like two o'clock, three o'clock. It was Friday? around two o'clock okay. probably. Yeah. But, um, and then at some point, I think it was on Thursday during one of my tirades at Walmart online help. Sorry, whoever, I don't know what your name was. Um, he basically said, you know, I'm sorry. I understand your frustration. I can offer you 15. 15% off. And I said, and I meant it. Thank you. I'd honestly rather just have my PlayStation, but thank you for that. And I don't know if it was due to how I took his offer or what. But anyways, I had checked on Walmart and all of a sudden it shows, you know, four ninety nine, whatever, minus something discount. I can't remember what they put it as. And it was like nine it was ninety eight dollars off. And ninety nine cents or something. No, just I think it was literally ninety eight point zero zero. Okay. Which is not twenty percent. <clears throat> it's no. like nineteen point something percent. So I don't know how we got $98 off when I was expecting 75 or 74 98 or something. So basically I got $100 off and I'm like even if this thing comes a week later I got it for 20% off. I'm going to have it for 99.99999% of the time I would have had it right. if I got it when I originally was supposed <clears throat> to have it. So I'm like I know I'm making out on the deal but I'm still annoyed. And if somebody said and I started looking online. I went to like Facebook Marketplace. I'm like, let me just see what's out there. I was looking through Twitter to see if anybody local was like, yeah, I got two. I wasn't sure if it was going to come on time, but they both did. I'm willing to sell it, you know, for what I paid. $800. No, like I would have paid, I would have paid 500 for it. Yeah. And then I probably would have just gotten mine when it came and tried to sell it for full price to still get my $100 right. back. But like at the time I would have paid that extra $100, like going back to full price to have it on Friday. Yeah. So, anyways, I got a, a day late, but a hundred dollars off. So a day late and ninety nine dollars, ninety eight dollars <laughs> short. Yeah. Um. But yeah, she's safe at home now, resting comfortably. Um. Mom and dad doing well. Uh. James Solar adds that he got his through Target at ten p.m. on the eleventh. It said the est est estimated the estimated delivery date was November eighteenth, but it showed up midday on the twelfth. Shrug. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I, I I didn't think anybody was getting theirs from Target on launch day was what it seemed like. Yeah. So. Oh, Target. That was the other thing. Thursday night, I stayed up waiting for Target to drop, thinking it was going to be at midnight Eastern, which would be 11 here. And then that didn't happen. And I was looking through like Twitter and everybody's <laughs> like, oh, supposedly it's going to drop at midnight, you know, one o'clock Eastern, which will be midnight Central. So I wait for that, and it still didn't drop. I stayed up till about 12.30, and it never did it. And then I checked the next morning, saw a bunch of, like, Wario notifications yeah. and stuff, and it looks like they went up around 2.30 here. So I was never going to make it up that late. But no. it was 4. Like, I would have gotten it the next day had I, you know, made it that late. Because I called Target the next day, and I was like, do you guys have any PlayStations? And he's like, um, I don't know. Let me check. 
And then he's like, yeah, we got a couple, but they're already, you know, claimed from online orders or whatever. I'm like, <laughs> and I like pause for a minute. I'm like, is there anything? I'm like, is there any follow up questions that are going to be worth asking that are going to get me anywhere? And I was like, screw it. I was like, okay, thanks. Bye. So then I called the other one. That was like Collierville one. I called yeah. the Germantown one. And she was just like, nope. Like she didn't tell me anything. She's like, nope, we don't have any. I'm like, okay, bye. I'm sure I was not the first person to call and ask, yeah. but the first guy in Collierville was at least like, I don't know. You know, let me see. I don't know how we're handling those. I think they're all claimed, but let me go check. And he put me on hold me, and sir, came back. Excuse me, sir. What is a and... station of play? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It was a very stressful day, but man, when I got that notification, well, once I saw it, once I had it in my hand and I knew what was in my hands, I was like, thank you. Relief beyond <laughs> belief. Belief, <laughs> yes. But, yeah. My journey was much simpler. I won the lottery from PlayStation, and I got mine on launch day around 2 o'clock. Which is annoying because it seems like every other time I have something coming from FedEx, it's like 9 or 10 in the morning. But, of, of course, course, this time. And FedEx doesn't let you see it on a map like UPS does. So I'm just sitting. I'm staring out the window. I took a half day because I was like, it'll probably get here by noon. It'll give me time to do my morning meetings, ho- hook the thing up, go through all the setup steps and everything, and then be able to play it after lunch. By the time I finally got it at two, I made the mistake of <clears throat> trying to transfer stuff over Wi-Fi. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't ever do that because it aired out anyways. And then finally, after I went and got the kids and everything, I was finally able to play Miles Morales. And then I had to take Nick to gymnastics and pick him up and everything, shower. And I didn't even play mine till that night. Like I texted you. I was like, we're probably going to play it at about the same time <laughs> if you get yours tomorrow. So, yeah, my journey was much simpler. Um, but, Sean, what do you think about this big – this obelisk that we have here on the table, youtube.com slash two player co-op. I'm so happy to have it. It is ugly. It is simultaneously beautiful <clears throat> because like, ah, oh, and just ugly. I don't it's think hideous. it's, I don't think it's ugly. I, I like, I, this is what I will say. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah. Oh, that, that's what she said. Thank you. And, Like, you didn't see it downstairs on top of my console table thing. I went to peek, and I didn't. I'm like, where is uh, Uh, it? He brought it upstairs. It's huge. So mine, where I have it and where I was, you know, going to put it, I pretty much knew ahead of time that there's a shelf that I knew this thing was not going to fit under. So I'm like, well, mine's going to lay flat. That's fine. But, of course, the power thing's all the way on this side, and you lay it down here. And if this were, you know, flat... Where I've got the hole that all the cords and stuff come through it's is over here. on this side, yeah. and it's not. It wasn't long. It was barely long enough to reach, but this thing was sitting all like cattywampus, and I'm like, oh god, I don't, I don't like this. So I had to <laughs> move some stuff around to actually make room for it. But yeah, it is huge. I, I will say I like that it has personality. It took Jess until I think Saturday morning. She was like, "So, when are you gonna uh, move that thing?" And I was like, well, she's like, you can put it in the thing. Like there's the drawer, you know, the, the thing that opens up on the front. I was like, it won't fit. She's like, well, let's measure it. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. I was like, no, no, no. I know technically it might fit, but like this thing needs room to breathe. And she's like, yeah, okay. Well, how much room? I'm like, but I I get what you're saying. I I lied. She's not going to watch this. It it says to the, the back has to be four inches removed from the wall is what it says. It doesn't say anything about the rest of it. Oh, I don't even know if mine is. But, but I was could like, be, but I don't know if it is right so now. So I was just like, it has to have four inches on every side. It can't fit in there, whatever. Uh, she is not a fan of the <laughs> the obelisk. Um, I, I like that it has personality. I don't remember if I said that or not. I like that it has personality. It's freaking huge. What I think I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to build a table. So you know how my, sub, my subwoofer is over to the left on the floor? Yeah. I think I'm going to build a table to go over it. And then sit this because I don't want this to just go on the subwoofer, but I kind of for some reason want this giant thing to stand up. I don't know why, but it can't stand up under my TV unless I get a different table Yeah, because it goes over the TV, (laughs) not over it. Well, I mean, it almost goes over the whole thing. Um, So I think I'm going to put it over there. But yeah, this thing's huge. We were kind of down where like Eliza. That's the other. I was like, yeah, but I don't know because it's like obviously it's bright white. It's gonna be like, ooh, what is this thing? Crashed. Can't ever get another one for another year. Um, So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but 
the stand, we kind of talked about it off air a little bit and I said, save it. Uh, I like the stand. I like the idea of the stand. I hate the stand. It does not click in and it's not just me. And I know you, this is probably what you're going to say on its side. It doesn't click in on the side. Yeah. I didn't even know that it was supposed to like, it, no, it's, I, it, it just says like, I don't see how square it, in the square. Oh, see, I didn't even, I didn't read the, I don't know. When you lay it flat, it looks pretty good, but it's one of those things that kind of like wobbles. So I'm looking underneath. I'm like, okay, I can see where it goes up. But and oh, here's the stand. Here? The stand has that same exact shape. So I try to just like line it up. Dude. But then it's got the stupid click thing. No, look right here. What do you, I don't know what you're... On the white. Oh. Oh. Square. You're supposed to go square, square. But even then, when you line that. it up, that's what it says to do, but it still, it does not click in. With the little... With, the, like, the claw thing. That sticks out? Yeah. So you put the claw there. Oh, square see, I square. don't... I'm, mine is not like that. It, or if it is, I did it by accident. <laughs> but, yeah, I... Yeah. I'm not a fan of the stand. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Um, but what do you think about it? Like... So we talked about how it's ugly. So when I'm unpacking everything, the first thing I did was I, I took the dual shot. Yep, and I'm like, me too. let's let's see. In general, I love it. Well, now wait. Let, do you have anything else to say about this? The physical The physical, the UI, all that other stuff. The UI? Yeah. Oh well, you got all sorts of stuff to talk about. With okay, there. Well, I thought you were just talking about the no, box. No, let's just itself. do the whole Let's do this because I want to be able to do my timestamps because I got a whole section for the dual sense. Okay. This? Yeah. yeah well, I don't know. It's and, fine. And the system it's huge. And everything. It, it's huge. But like, okay, so I heard people saying the download speeds are so much better. Yeah. You think so? Oh, yeah. Are you on Wi-Fi or Ethernet? Well, I'm you on must Wi-Fi. Be. Yeah, me too. Okay. But like, uh, what? I can't remember if it was Miles. Spider-Man. Something that I had to download like a day one patch yeah. for, Spider-Man or Demon Souls or something, was like was several cool, gigs, yeah. and it downloaded in like 20 or 30 minutes. Whereas my PS4, it would have taken like four hours or okay. something. But it's still not, it's not like... No, I mean, it's not representative of what my Your internet actual speed internet actually speed. is, but it's at least five times quicker, maybe 10 times quicker than my PS4 was. Okay. Which is stupid because it's the same exact internet, like, but it's much quicker. Yeah. So apparently, and I should have said this a minute ago, this thing's huge. Did you see how the initial design for this thing was actually even bigger? I read that they wanted it. Yeah. I cannot wait till that drawing comes out. God, I hope it does. But Sony said, bruh. Like same thing, just stretch uh, or like a totally he, okay. they, the the designer just said it was even bigger the first time and sony said no you got to shrink it down so this is the shrunken version wow uh a future update will be coming to allow it to output 8k uh also sony is looking into letting you store ps5 games on an external hard disk drive hard drive why when i say disk um so you can if you use an external drive you can store ps4 games on there I don't think you can play them from there, though. I think you still have to move them to the SSD to, to be able yeah. to play them. But they are looking to a way to be able to store games. So you don't have to delete them delete them, and then re-download them. You can just download them. You don't want to play them. Put it on a external drive and then move them back over when you want to, which obviously is quicker than downloading them. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I had here as a note also. You cannot transfer PT to the PS5. So it is locked to our it's, PS4s. It's done, yeah. Which sucks. But I haven't played it in years. No, I but wanted I still to play like it to around Halloween, to, and yeah. then I never did. I but. still want to just know that I can without booting up another system. Um, so now before we get to the dual sense, the new OS, the UI, what do you think? Because I got to say, and I think we kind of talked about this a little bit, I don't know if it's muscle memory or what, I miss the PS4 UI. I do too. I think this one's better, but... I'm a little bit lost. I, don't I still don't turn... really understand what the the I switcher even... and yeah, like, like there's the home button, there's a the home menu that like that opens up the thing, like the ta- like the dock, like on a Mac. Yeah, and then there's all, but then if you hit it again, it goes to like it's games and media, and I'm like, I don't even know how to play a game if it's not the game I've got in here. See that like the main thing where you can 
choose your games. You've got games, media. To me, that's a cleaned up version of what was on the PS4. I don't know the purpose of that other one. When you just tap the PS button, right. not hold it. Um, oh, if you hold it, oh. If you hold I it, it goes back that. to the that other oh, one. Okay. But if you just tap it, it goes to that one. Okay. So I'm still kind of confused. I don't know. I feel like I know that it's better, but I'm not used to it yet. I, I It took me forever to know how to even... And it's still confusing at this point, and I'll get to the, this other thing in a minute. It's confusing to know how to open a game or close a game. It was confusing at first to figure out how to actually turn the thing off. Because I'm used to just, you, you push the PS button, you hold it, and then it's like power off, rest mode, whatever. Yeah. No, you have to push the thing, you go down to the thing, you go over to the power, you click it, and you go to rest mode. I, I, they, they've got to fix this because this is not like... When you've been doing, they they sold a hundred and I don't even remember what we said, hundred and sixteen, hundred eighteen million PS4s, and even on the PS3, you would click the PlayStation button, you would hold it, and then it would say, "Do you want to power off or whatever?" Now that doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, I don't like that, Raymond. One bit. Yeah, I guess that's it's it's a little weird, but I'm gradually getting used to it and, and finding my way around. Have you used the Funtivities yet? Did you use that for Astro? We'll talk about the games here in a minute, but. I, I click and I see the fun activities and I'm just like, I don't know where you can get like help on. Yeah. Yeah. I used that for Astrobot. You did. Okay. What was the annoying? Eh, I'll save it. Okay. Cause I, the, the T-Rex was annoying. I'll just say that. And then I got through it and I was like, well, that can't be what Sean meant. Cause I was, did you get all the artifacts? Not yet. No. Oh, okay. Well, I'm guessing you don't have, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. God. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, you've, <laughs> I don't like, I, I just want it to be simpler is really what I think. I, I don't know that it's complicated. I think we're just not used to it yet. Um, but yeah. All right. Dual sense. In general, I love it. I don't know that it's necessarily any better or worse than the DS4. Oh, I should have brought the DS4 up here too. Oh, well. Um, I like the buttons. I have no problem with them. They're not. I was so relieved. When, yeah. When I picked as it soon up as the I first felt time, like, oh, okay, yeah, I was good. like, okay, they're not like in like inlaid almost. Right. You know? Um, what I don't like, even though it shouldn't really be any different than the Dual Shock in terms of placement, I have difficulty. Hitting I hate this it. button. It's because it's not a circle. I hate it too. But like, I, I also to feel like I'm always hitting the stick. Like. I, keep I can't hit it without button. hitting the stick. I hit the mute button. A oh, lot. I don't hit it when I'm using the stick. I just try to. No, hit I'm not that. saying. I'm saying when I try to hit it, it's always like the oh, stick okay. is in the way, and I feel like that was never. It's higher up than it was on the dual. Maybe that's, what, that's it what it is. That's Yeah. I don't like that button. It, I wish where it was the just mute button a is. circular button. Yes. Yeah, the mute button is kind of weird. I don't know why that needed its own dedicated. Button. Also, I want to be able to mute it and not have an orange light staring me in the face. Yeah, Sony doesn't need. To I turned the to volume me. way down. It was ungodly loud. on the controller. Yeah, um, physically, I love the controller. I think it it just it feels good. Um, the adaptive triggers scare the crap out of me. I'm so afraid. It makes me feel like I'm going to break it. Yeah, like like in the Gotcha machine on a uh, Astro. Yeah, the first time I did, I was like, oh. I don't, I was I don't like, wait, push it anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm like, is it trying to tell me that I shouldn't be pushing it? Yeah. Or that I just need to try harder? And if I if I push harder on it, am I pushing it when it doesn't really want me to? And am I going to screw something up? Yep. They scare the crap out of me. I think it's <clears throat> cool. It is super immersive. All the little, like... The footsteps, yeah. Like, there was one time in Astrobot, I was playing and I, I could feel it and I hear my controller going like, I'm like, what is even? And then I was like, oh, it's, oh, and it was the rain on his like oh, umbrella. Yeah. And yep. I'm like, it doesn't really add anything, but like, it's not just like a, like the rumble, like the stupid thing that Nintendo, the HD rumble, whatever they called it, like, no, this is pretty legit. To this me. is like what, what what I wrote down is this is the it's Switch not just Pro varying controller on steroids. It's not just like varying levels of. It's not like 
No, it's completely or, different. Right. It's like there's so many. It's like it's coming from different areas and stuff. Yeah. On the control. Yeah. I love I love that, and I see why some people were saying you know that the controller is like the most next gen yeah. thing about this whole thing. In general, I really like it. I'm not a big fan of the PS button, but whatever. I hate the PS button. That's what I wrote down here. That's the only thing I don't really like. Um, also, the light bar is no longer annoying, yeah. which is nice. I hate the mute button. I hate that it lights up if you mute it. Or, yeah, the mute button. I hate that it lights it, 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 Yeah. It, you should just be able to turn it off and not in a future update, I'm sure, whatever. Um, but, yeah, like I said, this is the Switch Pro on steroids. Like, I also like member, one of the other things we didn't talk about it earlier, but the, the playtime tracking is awesome. I love that that's there. It was one of the things I said when we went on with uh, Trevor and Logan from that nerdy site. And I said, what, what do you want from next gen? I was like, I want the system to track my playtime. So I did check. I didn't want to tell you because I figured we talk about here. I did check my playtime. Bloodborne. So number one, I only have one that's over 100 hours. Is it the same as mine? And I'm kind of shocked. <clears throat> A, at what number one is, and B, how high it is. Unless there's some nonsense where I just left it on, but even then, I would have had to do that multiple times. Multiple. Multiple. I'm both shocked and not surprised at the same time. Number one for me, I think it was like 146 hours, something like that, GTA Five. Hell yeah. Which is wait, weird because weird I feel because, like I don't really play it yeah. much without you. Like, I never played it that much. Mine was only 190 hours. I think it's just been, I've played it a little bit for a long time. Yeah. An hour or two here and there. Yeah. Versus like, so number two was, I think, Bloodborne. Okay. And I think it was like. More than Metal Gear? Yeah. Wow, my I don't Metal remember Gear what Metal Gear Five was. was two hundred and twenty hours. That's crazy. But there was a like I told you off air. There was a couple times where I just left it on overnight to like let nukes develop. Yeah, or whatever. I think my Bloodborne was like 60, 70, maybe close to eighty, somewhere around there. I think. And number three, much lower than I would have thought. Although I guess it makes sense. Spider Man was like forty eight. Did something. you find Metal Gear? There's no way you played that less than you played Spider Man. There's no way with as big I don't as that know. I'll game have to is, look again, but you got more trophies in it than I did. I think, or you got uh, you got a higher so. percentage completion than I did at least. Really, I'll have to go back and look, but maybe I scrolled past it and didn't notice yeah, it. Yeah, my number one was number Metal one Gear for Solid sure 5. was Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, I had 220 hours in MGS Five. GTA on PS4 was 190 hours. Nick, let us know what Mortal Kombat shows. Um, and I don't even remember what number three was. God of War was right around where I thought it was, around 60 hours, because I got the Platinum, and then I played it on New Game Plus and beat it again. Uh, Horizon was right around what I thought, 45, 46. Or no, it was around 50 to 55 hours, because I did Frozen Wilds for a little bit. I never beat that. Um, but yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five was number one. That made me happy. also made me want to go back and play it again. <laughs> yeah. But I've got more than enough to play right now. Um Oh, yeah. Also, Sony did say that there will be more colors of the dual sense coming in the future. Yeah. If this thing's white, I kind of just want the controller to be white. I don't want to start like. Right. I don't know. I'm not going to get a black one. I might get something totally different, like blue. Like I want blue. some kind of limited blue, edition, yeah. like something like that. But I'm not just going to get a black one. But also, when you look at this thing as ugly to, as it is, these th this color scheme is the PSVR. Yeah, I like the two tone thing. If yeah. if you had this exact same thing, With but it was square. all black, yeah. it would look really stupid. Yeah. I do like the black and white thing going on. It's more just the whole like the overly waves. futuristic, yeah. and then the tumor for the disc drive. Like yep. the discless one looks better. At least yeah. it's symmetric. Yeah, but yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I love the Dual Sense. I get why they called it the Dual Sense. Yeah. Although I wanted to just, I wanted it to be the DualShock Five, just for, you know, what what am I trying to say? Posterity. Yeah. No. <laughs> for uh, configure for um, uniformity or something. Yeah, that thing. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Um, but I love it. Consistency. That was the word. Very simple <laughs> word. Couldn't think of it. Um, I think it feels good. The the haptics and everything are crazy. 
I, I guess I know that it's a different shape than Dual Shock. Like I thought the Dual Shock Four was perfect. I thought it fit in my hands perfectly. But this does two, which is weird because I know it's a different, it's a slightly different shape. A lot of people are comparing it to the Xbox controller from like a a heft and a like a obviously not the sticks and everything. But I don't know. I, I really like it. I'm not going to go out and just say it's the best controller ever, which I thought the Dual Shock Four was. Uh, but I could see it ending up that way. I'm just glad the face buttons are actual buttons because again, until I actually held it, I was like, I still don't know if I'm going to like these buttons. The only thing I don't know is about the D-pad because I haven't played until I play like a 2D platformer with this thing. I, I don't know about the D-pad. It should be the exact same as it was on the PS4, which I love the D-pad yeah. on that. But I just don't know about that until I actually do something that really requires the D-pad. One thing I kind of miss which I really just now realized. I mean, I, I noticed it, but I never really thought about it. I kind of get why they did it because it fits the theme. I miss the different colors yes. associated with the sacred symbols. Like, cause even in, uh, Astrobot, like that, you know, they show them in, in yeah. their standard colors and now it's all just gray. There was some interview know. that came out. There was, I can't remember what they, they had a reason for it, but I, it was some BS. I think it was just a design choice, but yeah, I agree. I miss them. Yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to get to before we get into the games we've been playing on this thing, um, PS4 to PS5 upgrades. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard there was some. So I got Watch Dogs Legion. We talked about that on the last podcast a couple of weeks ago. I've only played it a few more hours since then because the screen tearing was just driving me nuts. So I was like, okay. I think it was like Friday when I took the day off. I was like, I need a break. It's lunchtime. So I'm going to put Miles away. While I leave, I'm going to put the disc in for PS4 Watch Dogs Legion. Let it install. Download the PS5 patch and all this. First off, you put the disc in and it just starts installing it. It doesn't tell you... Would you like to play the PS5 version? You go down on the stupid UI. You go to the thing at the top and you hover over it as it's installing and you can see the little progress bar. You go down, then you hit the three dots next to it. You click that. Or no, 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 not even that. You go down and then over here, there's like a picture of the box art and it says something about download the PS5 version. So you have to go down, over, over. Click that to download the PS5 version. First off, I have two Watch Dogs Legions installed on my PS5. I have the PS4 version, and then I downloaded the PS5 version. When you do this, it is not clear at all. So I first, when I got back and everything was updated and everything, I was like, okay, let me just click it. So I go down, Watch Dogs, boom, load. Okay, that loaded faster. That's good because load times are horrible in Watch Dogs. Cool. Uh, campaign, continue. Cool. All right. Loads up. Okay, I remember this this lady that I, you know, recruited, whatever. Okay, let's walk around. And I start doing the camera thing. I was like, is the screen going to tear? No screen tearing. Okay, cool. Uh, hijack a car, go. No screen tearing. This is good. Awesome. Okay, cool. I'm like, I, I just don't want to play it right now. I just want to make sure it works. So I exit out. Then when I get back to the main screen, screen, I see Watch Dogs. But then, like, in the corner says Watch Dogs, PS4, full version. I'm like... <clears throat> wait was i just playing the ps4 version on my ps5 so then you go down in the things at the top you hover over watchdogs you go down you hit the three dots and that's where you you can go down to say oh play the ps5 yeah. full version i'm like so wait, i wasn't doing that so i pull up the ps5 version i uploaded my saves to the cloud and everything play the ps5 version boot it up i'm back at the beginning the opening cutscene. i'm like okay exit out it looks exactly the same as the ps4 version i think exit out go back there go to the go to campaign load a cloud save okay click downloading downloading down i looked away i was like on my phone whatever and then i was like okay there's nothing in the corner okay cool let's okay campaign continue boom boots up at the beginning I'm like you've got to be kidding <laughs> exit download cloud save i'm like i'm not looking away from the screen downloading 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 error I look online, there's some issue with Ubisoft that it's not letting, like cloud saves aren't working right for some reason. And still today, when I turned on today and I played Astro for a little bit, it just pops up, nope, couldn't sync save data with Ubisoft, whatever, connect. I'm like, oh. so 
I have the PS4 version of Watch Dogs on my PS5. I have the PS5 version of Watch Dogs on my PS5. I have uploaded my save from the PS4 version to the cloud. I am not able to download that and play it on my PS5 version at this time. This is ridiculous. Yeah, that's messed up. At this point, it makes me just be like, okay, I just wasted 60 bucks. Like, I'm I'm so sick of this. Apparently, I could just play the PS4 version because it doesn't do the screen tearing thing anymore. But I'm like, well, no, I have a friggin' PS5. <laughs> like, like yeah. you have, they, they Ubisoft said, you do the Ubisoft Connect, you upload the, the save, you download the save, you're good to go, whatever. You can go from, like, PS4 to Series X, from what I understand, using Ubisoft Connect, except it's not working. Yeah. So, yeah. <sighs> James Solar writes in and says, Sony has always had trouble differentiating between multiple versions of games. On PS4, if I had a game on disc and somehow obtained a digital version, PS Plus or something, it was a separate download. How, how is it 2020? I now, I've been bagging on Xbox and their smart delivery crap for a long time. But now, after going through this, I understand, like, the, the whole point of smart delivery, now that I understand it better, I'm sorry, Xbox fans is you boot up the game and it knows the system you're playing on and it knows which version to give you for your system. PS5 does not. Yeah. I've heard stories of people got Miles Morales on PS4, did the upgrade or whatever to get the PS5 version. Same thing as Watch Dogs. You've got the PS4 version of Spider-Man on there and the PS5 version, and you don't know what you're playing unless you're very careful when you're selecting the game and hitting the three dots and doing all that crap. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the only issue I had, and I don't think it wasn't a PS4, PS5 thing because I only have it on <laughs> PS5. Said, Thank you. Apology accepted. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I don't remember exactly what happened now. I can't remember if I had gotten into the game... I think I had been playing Miles Morales <clears throat> and then I left and came back or something, but all of a sudden it was showing, it showed on my home screen or whatever, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, but then it had like a lock <clears throat> next to it. And I'm like, what? And I scroll down and it says like purchase or something. I'm like, no, no. I've got it already. I think I literally already played it, but it was treating it as if, and, like, the disc was in the PlayStation. Oh. And it just wouldn't. It's like, do you want to buy it? I'm like, no, I already did. It's it's inside of you right now. And I turned the PlayStation <laughs> off, turned it back on, <laughs> and, and it worked fine. But I was like, that it was just very strange. Colin was also saying that, like, he started playing Miles Morales and Miles. They have, every, it happened to me, too. Really? No sound for him? No sound. And it had to do with... Like the sound settings, and okay. it's because that's what Dustin was telling Colin. It's something about your center. Channel you go in and change, up. yeah, because I'm, it sounds like it's a sound bar thing. Yeah, and you had to go and change it from Dolby something to Dolby something. Uh, okay. I don't know, but then all of a sudden it worked fine. But okay. yeah, I had the same issue with that. Okay, uh, let's go through the game, Sean. Yeah, let's start with Astro's Playroom. Yeah, I have not platinumed it yet, but I did beat it today, as I was alluding to. I beat the T Rex. That was piss. There was a couple times where I was like, I need to walk away from this thing. Like, this should not be this difficult. The first one or the second one? Well, the first one, I didn't even notice when he did like the the blinking thing. A spoiler alert for Astro's Playroom. The I guess. teeth. Yeah, the teeth. I died a couple times. I think I died once because I didn't realize mm -hmm. that until it was too late. The second time I died. I don't think it killed me, but it like caused me to get hit when I shouldn't have, and then I ended up dying later because after he does that and he chomps mm -hmm. and the thing goes mm, diagonal and the little waves come at you, like there's like the ripple wave and then like the fire wave. Yeah, and I got hit because the stupid ripple wave, like <laughs> ripple wave, <laughs> brought me up in the air. Yeah. right before I went to jump. And so it knocked me up, and then I hit jump, and all he did was, and he like hovered there for a little bit just instead of jumping high. over yeah. the thing. So that hit me, and I'm like, come on. So I just had to like move away from it and jump a little earlier, and it was fine. But I died probably like three times on him. Yeah, the the, the thing that happened to me is once I got to the green dinosaur part, um, when they start throwing out the enemies with the spikes, like as long as you're close enough that they're running towards yeah. you, they don't go spike mode. 
But I had a couple times where I was trying to kill the other basic enemies because towards the end, there's like he throws 15. Yeah. And I'm just like, pop, 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 pop. And then there was another guy over here with some regular guys around him. And I run over there and I'm like, pop, pop, pop. But as I was coming, he was like, okay, you're too far away. <laughs> and he did shink right as I was punching. I was like, pop. <laughs> um, but I beat it. I did not get the platinum yet. I'll probably get it tomorrow or the next day. Uh, but I've been going back and forth between that and Miles. I I almost think I like Astro's Playroom more than Spider-Man. <laughs> wow. I don't know what I, it so is. I like it a lot. I think it's... I... I my, uh, Astro Rescue, Rescue Mission, like could have been my game of the year. And I think a big part of it was the VR. Like yeah. it was just so cool. It doesn't this one is not nearly as good. Okay. Not being in VR. It's still fun, but like the VR I think just adds so much to it. Um other than that it's like the same game. All the sound effects, the animations, really identical. Um what I will say, this game has way more charm than it deserves to have like all the little like cameos and Dude, like when i saw a oh snake in God. the box and somebody punches the box off and yeah he's there with his bandana and then i see aloy with a astro aloy with her little yeah. like her oh bow so and cool arrow. all those like little things you there, find there's and sam I, porter bridge is walking around with all like 15 <laughs> like suitcase i was like ah oh, sean hates this i game. came across I the it. you know bloodborne with his uh the yeah. the saw cleaver i yeah. think and was like oh my god it was so cool i it i couldn't help but smile at a and, lot of parts of that game but like especially when you get to the end of each of the four levels and you hear like the sound that's iconic yeah. for each playstation i'm just like and you look around and like the sky yes. like the atmosphere is just like that was so cool i'm like this is i am such a nerd that freaking Astro's Playroom is about to make me cry because it is so like I'm not I'm more nostalgic for Nintendo obviously because that's what we grew up on but like I've been a PlayStation fanboy since 2000 when the PS2 came out yeah and like I, the, the PS1's fine but the PS2 is really when I came into my own and just hearing some of those sounds that, that I I can remember booting that up and playing Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, GTA like God of War all these other games it, it just comes rushing back ah oh, did I see Kratos. There must be an Astro Kratos in this, right? I can't remember seeing one, though. I'm trying to think if I saw him. I don't think I did, but he's, he's got to be He's got to be in He's there. 100% there, but I don't know if I saw him. One of the trophies you can get, which I don't know if you got it. What is the annoying thing? It's one of the artifacts. Okay. I th or is it a... No, it's an artifact in, like, PlayStation 1 world. Okay. Um, that was the last one I did. It was the first one I did. Okay. Um, is that where you go into the ball? Yeah. Okay. It's. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. There's this part. It's you're in a ball, and you have to. There's a path off the yeah. left, and there's like a little whoop, and the thing is like barely wider than your ball. Is that the ice part? It is on ice. I got the one on the ice. Where you went around and, and you go up. like up and then back up here. Yeah, I fell off a couple times, but I got it. Yeah. Well, that was the one. I struck. Okay. I fell off that thing so many times. I just I spammed the. I mean, where you press the pad to, and you just like break. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, it kept popping up on the screen. Probably because uh, I kept dying. They're like, you may want to do this because when you, it's no, not, it's I not just instantaneously kept, like, pushing but, it the other way, just like slow down. Oh, Slow. it drove me. Oh, I didn't it even probably could do only that. took me like ten or fifteen minutes, but it felt like it took me like two hours. Yeah, but okay, if you got that, you're golden. Okay. That was by far the hardest part of the. One whole. of the trophies was stand on the PlayStation Move controller in Labo, and I did that for the two that I or the one, two, three that I see, and I didn't get a trophy, so I don't know what I'm not doing. You have to go all the way to the tip of the third one. The gun, like the high, the one? little, yeah, like on the. You left have to ball? jump onto the one yeah. to get to the next one to get to the next one, oh, and you have to stand on like the color in the air. Yeah, if oh, you if you found the them, all. okay. So I'm missing that. Artifact. Yeah, okay. Um, one of the trophies is a wink and a nod to God of War, but I don't remember seeing a hmm. God of War Astro. What was the trophy? What do you have to do? Yeah, 
Uh, it's at the end of... It's the one with the ice. Okay. The one that starts in the B... The water one. The, the one with the springs. hotel. Yeah. Is it hotel. that one? Yeah. They call it, it's a hotel where you're bouncing through. It's like hotel oh, okay. such and such or resort. I don't know. But I think it's at the end of that one. But anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the one. It's whichever one you can get the bow and arrow on. Okay. And at the end, you end up in like a snowy area. Yeah. And you can get, there's another bow and arrow there. Right. And there's a bunch of rabbits. And if you shoot all the rabbits, you get a trophy. Uh, but the trophy is called. Boy. Yeah. It's called adequate boy or something oh like my that God, <laughs> but no i don't think i ever saw a kratos astrobot he's got to be in there but somewhere. he's he's 100 but i feel like i've missed other things too like there's some there was definitely like there was a ghost one that i noticed because he's, he's got i saw a ghost and he's next I saw, to this beautiful tree and i saw resident evil like i said i saw oh, bloodborne I, didn't see that, I don't think there's a jill and a chris and there's just like a random door and even the oh, door that's that okay yeah yeah, yeah. the door is like oh. the door from resident evil yeah, one yeah okay um, god i mean there's there's everything this game first off this was the game where i realized this dual sense is nuts yeah it is crazy like we talked about already but like the, the raindrops the, the footsteps everything is like I, I can't believe i don't know how this thing is working yeah you know i'm surprised this thing only costs 70 dollars and i say yeah. that like tongue-in-cheek kind of but like i get it this is so much technology in this thing also like i told you off air this really makes me want Sackboy. Like, I think that's going to be really fun. Yeah, I, I want, like, but also now I hope that, and there's been something that, like, the uh, Team Asopi or whatever is saying that there's more coming. So I wonder if we're going to get DLC for this thing other than the speed races, which I'm not going to do because it'll drive me nuts. But I want, like, I kind of want, I, 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 I'm to the point now where I think, like, Astrobot could be PlayStation's now. I, I'm saying this not like the same level, but you know what I mean? Mario. Yes. They're... Like he's so cute and adorable. And like he does the same thing as, as Rescue Mission while he'll, try, he'll like wave the camera and you're yeah. running. He's like, hi. Like I know you're watching and controlling me. This is so much fun. Like I just, this game makes me so happy. You throw in all the nostalgia, all the references, all the sounds, the music, everything. And it just if makes you me want, so happy. you can borrow my PSVR because I'm not going to, I just don't feel like hooking it back up again anytime soon but if you really like this game you've got to play the rescue mission yeah it's it's even better it's not it doesn't have all the same charm it's got all the astrobot charm yeah. but it doesn't have all the nostalgia right charm. right but it's it's awesome the other thing I, I like that there's weapons in this we talked about the bow and arrow i like the like the bump like, like the little pop gun yeah. thing and everything um i like that there was a couple of bosses aside from the t-rex like the the one uh, when you're in the rocket, I like that because you got to light the fuses and stuff, and you got to oh, yeah. dodge him when he's doing the lightning and whatever. It's just a really, it's obviously it's not a challenging game, and my my play time is going to be all messed up because Casey and Nick were playing it like crazy today, and I'm like, did they get many trophies? No, here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll probably play it in that. The, like, the, I think tomorrow on my lunch, I'm just going to be like, okay, what am I missing? Where are the artifacts? Go to these worlds, get this thing, jump on the the, the move controller, do all that crap. Um, so yeah, I'll get the platinum tomorrow or the next day. And then I'm going to jump back into Miles Morales. Now, I'm guessing you're going to tell me that you beat it. I have not. I beat it earlier today. Yeah. I haven't had a chance. I played Astrobot for... I, I did the T-Rex today. That's the only thing I've so played So where today. without... Spoilers, where are you at? Um, after you get out of the lab with the other person, yeah, and you hear people talking about someone that you know, that you're like, What? Why would this person do that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay. So maybe I'm not that close. I've played it for like six or Where seven you're hours. Underneath? Yeah. You're very close. Okay. I played it for six or seven hours. I've done some side stuff, but I'm like There's I, probably if I just mainline it, is it like an hour or two? Have you been so that's that's right after you meet somebody at the church. Correct. When you get So captured. then you've got like maybe two missions left. You're pretty close. Mm. Did you platinum it yet? No. Okay. 
I, there's still a bunch. Ugh. There's so. Much. I looked at the trophies. A lot of it seems like it'll just come naturally with playing. Like defeat X number of enemies using. Have this. you got a hundred hit combo yet? Because I'm like, there's. No I don't way. know how. I've topped out at like forty. Yeah. I don't know how to get a hundred. What I was reading, some people online say is you, if you go to some of the, uh, this isn't a spoiler, some of the rocks on lab things, kind of, there were like Fisk hideouts or whatever yeah, in the yeah, first yeah. game. There's a lot of those where it's like, it, it'll tell you like, ooh, take down five enemies stealthily and 10 doing this. Like, no, just go in there and just start hitting people. And if you get hit, because there's enough bad guys there that as long as you know how to do your dodges and stuff, you can get to 100. And if you get hit, you just do, okay, restart, last checkpoint, boom. Try yeah, to. I think that's what it's going to have to be. I think that's going to be but... the last trophy that I get. Yeah. That's that's by far going to be the hardest. So what do you think about Miles Morales? Um, I like it a lot. I think it's beautiful. Um. Have you been playing mostly 60 frames or... I've gone fidelity? back and forth. Me too. I wish you didn't have to reboot, although it takes uh, yeah. half a second. Uh, yeah. This SSD is so freaking awesome. Oh I honestly God. think, which I would not have thought to be the case, I think I prefer fidelity mode or whatever. The not 60 frames. I thought that because I was playing on that for a while, and then I switched back to performance When I go mode. from 60 to 30, I'm like, ugh. Like, all of a sudden, it looks like choppy, like I'm watching Spider-Verse. But then, once I'm just, once I've forgotten about that and I'm just into it, I think it looks so much better. Everything looks just kind of flat in performance mode. Like, the building, they're just, and I think it's all, it's the ray tracing and stuff. Like, I, I didn't, everything I just ray looks tracing so much was more just alive. a gimmick. It is so, like, I noticed it, like, early on when you're in your apartment and you see the Christmas tree, and I, at that point, I was in fidelity mode. I was not in performance mode. And when they turned, when the I saw that, that Christmas, Christmas tree, tree, I was like, yeah, I just, I just went, stopped there. I got right up to the screen. I was like, was I, like this, how is this, this Christmas tree looks beautiful. It's one of those things. Like if I were to show it to Jess, she'd be like, it's a Christmas tree. But I'm like, yeah, but you don't understand what Christmas trees yeah. used to look like. Like ray tracing is no joke. And this is a first gen early. Like what are games going to look like five or six years from now? It yeah. is crazy to me. Um, but keep going about miles. Um, I'm blown away by, and maybe I would have known this had I, you know, done more reading and whatnot. It is a much more full, yeah. standalone, complete game than I would have. Like it's all of Manhattan again. I like how it was very Harlem centric, but like I didn't know if you were gonna have access to right. all of Manhattan, and yeah. you do. Like it's. There's not as much, and I'm fine with it. There's not as much of the collectathon type stuff as there was in the original. There's not like sixty backs pa- backpacks, right? And stuff. There's and some stuff, but it's not nearly as annoying. Um, there's one thing at the end which I don't think you've have you gotten to like the audio. I did that. I did one of them, and I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. I, I that's was why like, I was like, I guess oh, I got to go God. over here, and then I finally found I eventually it figured it out, yeah. and I'm like, uh god and i gotta do this six times this is gonna suck is what I. there's think. like 10 of them i think but to me they're all there's only a couple that i'm like what am i supposed to be yeah. like looking for but it didn't end up being that bad but that was not my favorite um all in all from just a pure technical standpoint i do think it's better than the original i think it really? well just because okay. because it's still the full game which New is more game. than i was expecting it obviously looks a lot better, less of the collectathon type stuff. It seems like the crimes pop up more often than they did in the first yeah. one, which will make it easier to get the platinum. Because yeah. that was the one thing I was like, I'm swinging around in this one burrow forever, trying to get the last right. three crimes to pop up, and it just sucks. As far as just like the story and stuff goes, it's not as good. It's still good. I don't like it as much as the original. I don't either. Um, it I think seems it was very like, obvious who Tinkerer was. I knew from the beginning. I was like, "That's Tinkerer." I was right. Just the but fact they also that, like they let you know very early on that it's like I was like, "Oh, I think Tinker is." Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, just the fact that the first one you've got Fisk and Doc Ock, the sinner. Sorry, you got the six. And yeah, yeah like it's and then in this one you have mm, the Tinkerer. I Tinker. Like I'm like and th- when, this when is, they talk about where they got their name, I was like. Ugh. Like also, I love I love Miles in this. 
He's I, awesome. I love yeah. the actor. I love he is such a dork and it's so but he's not like a dork like Peter is. He's like a dork, but he's still cool. Yeah. You know? I, I love the perform just like I loved Yuri's performance as Peter in the first game. And the, I'm still not used to Peter's face. Luckily it's not in here very much. I'm not, but when it pops up on your phone and it's like I'm like, that's not my Peter. Yeah. There's a couple things that a, I don't want to. Spo- uh, I mean, I don't want to spoil for you or for them mm. that you that happen. Basically, the final mission. That okay. There's two separate things. One that happens during the mission. One that's like a, like a post credit. Not even post credits, but it's post. You're done with the game. Okay. Um, does it that, set up Spider Man Two? Yes. Okay. That's a po- oh well. That's a post credits. Okay. That's something separate. But there's two things that happen in the very late stages of the game that both like. Hmm. All right, I'm beating this on my lunch. They both like, oh, they 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 got me. Really? Yeah. Um, okay. I like it, oh, man. I like it a lot. I don't know. I mean, the original was my game of the year. So saying I like that one better than this one is not going to be like a, you know, crazy revelation. I definitely like this a lot. I don't know. Solar asks, how long did it take you to beat the game? Do you know? Um, He said he heard the main story is three to four hours. Yeah, you do have to beat New Game Plus to get the Platinum, which is yeah. super annoying. That is so stupid. Yeah. Um, but I feel like I feel like you could beat this once you... When I go... When all I've got left to do is New Game Plus and I skip all the cutscenes, I feel like I, you could <clears throat> you could mainline this in, yeah, three to four hours. Probably. If you just stick to the main story, yeah. I'm going to guess... So I got it Friday. I don't think... I didn't play Spider-Man until Friday evening. I probably played three hours Friday. Uh, probably like three hours today and probably <laughs> during the course of yesterday. <clears throat> I probably played Spider-Man six or seven hours. I bet it took me... 12 hours or so to beat it but i did i did all a lot the of side stuff. oh yeah. you've gotten all the collectibles already yeah okay so see i'm at about six or seven i'm hours, trying but just to do some stuff everything that i can in this playthrough and then i want to new game plus. only have yeah. to do the new game plus stuff in my new game i'm plus. gonna do new game plus on super easy just because i'm like i just want the platinum you might as well yeah. yeah um but have yeah. you had any glitches? Because I have. There's a couple when you're when you're walking to. Your I've mom's, had a couple weird things happen. There's been two times for me that I had to just exit out and start the the checkpoint because I was walking in the part that they showed in the trailer where you're walking to your mom's rally or whatever. I go over there and I talk to this person, whatever you push triangle and you do this side conversation. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And then I'm done and I go to walk away and someone has walked up next to me, and I'm like, I walk and I'm like. I, I, I've like this much room to move and I could not get out. I tried jumping. I tried running. I tried doing whatever. I couldn't get out. So I had to restart and walk and walk and walk. Then there was another time when you're in the, um, the base, when you go with your friend yeah, and you're like looking at all the tech and stuff, I go look at something and the same thing happened. Someone's walks up over here and I'm just like, okay, I'm trying to leave. <laughs> I, I can't. And then there was another, like somebody was walking inside of my body and like you could see like Miles's hair and then his nose would stick out. And I'm like, <laughs> reload the last checkpoint, I guess. But like this is with a day one patch. It's weird that I'm having these issues. I think the weirdest thing, the really the only thing that happened to me was so you know all the crates you have to find. Yeah. I didn't realize that the last what, six or so, and maybe you don't either, but you have to get they're not just on the map. You get them from those bases. I've done one of the bases and I got a crate. I so on one of them, you know, some of them are like underground. Some yeah. of them are the building site, whatever. There's one in the building site that you have to, I don't know if it's like this on all of them, but I think you had to, it's one where you had to, there's like a crane and it's holding something. It's connected to something over a hole okay. and you need to do your L1 R1 to pull it up. And then so it like lifts it up and holds yeah. it and then you can go down and you go down there as part of, just the thing to find like the whatever the generator or something yeah whatever you're trying to do there but there's a crate down there and so i had to re-beat that one uh okay and then i I couldn't find the stupid crate and i i'm swinging around the building hitting r3 waiting for it to like pop up and then i finally saw it i'm like okay 
it's there. So I go to try to find it. I'm like, how do I get, oh, I got to lift this stupid thing up. And when I lifted it up, I went down there. There's just nothing. It was like, I was in like the nexus of the universe. Oh, like it was just a like you blank. went under the map or something. It, well, it, I was where I was supposed to be. Right. But it's like once I left the mission area, it's like it kicked me out. Once I started swinging around the building and it's like it unloaded that. So when I went down there, there was just nothing. It was just this big empty room. Hmm. So I had to, and I couldn't get out. I think I had to restart from last checkpoint and I went back there and before I did the retry thing, I'm like, can I just lift it up? And it wouldn't let me. So I had to beat it again and then lift it up and go down without leaving the building first. And then it looked, you know, it was like a lab or whatever. So, and then I was able to get it, but it's that was the so, only weird thing I had happen. I don't remember having any glitches with Spider-Man 2018. I don't remember anything like this. And I, I really do like this game. I don't think it's going to be Final Fantasy. I don't think it's going to beat Final Fantasy 7 for my game of the year. We're running out of games. to. At, at this point, it's like, spoiler alert for our game of the year podcast. Like, it's it's up to gods and monsters now, I think. Like, I don't think Miles Morales is going to take the, the crown for me. Yeah, see, it's right up there for me my biggest thing it's the whole recency bias like it's spider-man it's ps5 and i just played it whereas final fantasy ps4 (laughs) eight months ago eight months ago still a game that for me anyway kind of feels incomplete i don't know it's it's up there i need to just sit um i like it a lot better than I thought I would. It's definitely more of a full game. It, it's more of a game than Uncharted Lost Legacy was. That That's what everybody's been comparing it to. But for me, Uncharted Lost Legacy was like five to six hours. And once you beat it, it's like, unless you want to get the platinum and play through it on crushing difficulty or whatever and get all the collectibles, it's there's nothing there. This is much more... You get much more for your money with Miles Morales than you did with Lost Legacy. And I really like Lost Legacy. Yeah. Um, the bridge sequence... Not a spoiler at all because it was in the trailers. But actually playing through that, like we were texting, playing through that was like, this is the MC. That was insane. It was awesome. It was so much fun. Um, I don't like the enemies. This just made me think of the enemies. When you get to the the, the part where the enemies have the sword and they do like the thwip, but it's like with the sword chain thing. I'm like, I hate these guys. I feel like if I'm going to get the 100 combo thing, it has to be an area where those guys are not. Because yeah. I, I like I'll do the venom dash when it builds up and stuff, but it's like I don't, especially when you got four or five of those dudes, you you are screwed. Yeah. Because they're all trying to thwip and thwap you and stuff, and if you don't have your venom dash, then you're screwed. See, I don't like the red guys, the rocks on guys that do the moves that takes away the venom, make it so you can't yeah. do your venom. That drives me nuts. But oh, I love Ganky too. He's such a cool He's guy cool. in the chair. Yeah. He's good. And that's the thing. Like I. I really don't, I I don't read comics and stuff. I know Miles from Spider-Verse and that's really it. So I don't know like if, like is Genki an actual character in the comics? I assume, but I don't know for sure. You know, obviously Uncle Aaron's in this and so we know that. So I was curious and fast forward like a minute if you're really worried about spoilers. It's not, I don't think it's really spoilerific, but I looked up the tinkerer and I didn't do a whole lot of digging, but when you Wikipedia tinkerer, it's like old white guy. Like this was very really? much a reimagining of tinkerer oh, from what I understand. So okay. yeah, I'm still wondering how the purple guys, but the factor. name is the same. Okay. I will say that. Oh, it's what the name same is spelling? in the game. Yes, but it's short for, something else in the game it is or in the like the what the tinkerer's name is in this game is the same as what his name is in quote-unquote real life you know in canon it's just short for what they i think usually refer to him as oh like yeah yes exactly (laughs) so yeah when i looked that up i was like oh interesting i just broke my foot (laughs) it was a foot noise and it wasn't a fart i just hurt my foot Um, I do love, it's going to be weird. I almost kind of think I shouldn't have got the launch, the ultimate edition. I'm like, 
I don't really know that I don't I want know to go when put I'm gonna 45 yeah. hours in just to get that platinum. I'm like, but it's 20 bucks, whatever. I've got it whenever. I don't know that I'm going to go right into that. Like, I, I, I do think I'm going to get Call of Duty just because I want to see what it looks like on PS5 after I beat Miles. But my original plan was like, boom, boom, and then right into Spider-Man Remastered. I'm like, I don't know that I want to do this for No, especially hours. once I go back and do New Game Plus. Yes. I'm going to be good. It'll be a 2021 thing. I'll yeah. get the Platinum, but it's not. Yeah. I mean, Remastered. Uh, Miles Power. That, that's what made me think of it. His powers in this, like we were talking about the Venom Miles stuff. Miles Prowers. His Miles Prowers. Tales. His tales in this are <laughs> so cool. Yeah. And like, I don't remember... I feel like I did not use his web stuff nearly as much as I did in the original. Yeah. I used just fists and like his venom stuff. Yeah. I'm the rarely hollow thing is cool. I liked in the original I liked the the big like <laughs> web where he just hit somebody Can once you and even do like, that in this? No, he's just got the Yeah, okay. He's just got those. He's got the gravity well. I never use the gravity well. Yeah, I don't really use any I like the mines. Those are cool. Yeah, yeah. The clone thing. Like, I don't... I just didn't really use any of them. I just never know what's even loaded. And then I have to go, like, look yeah. up there and be like, what do I even have? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Um, The snow in this is beautiful. So... Oh, my God. It look, even in performance mode, in the, you know, the 60 frames per second, it looks so freaking good. It looks so awesome. Um, I've got this thing about snow where, like, I just don't like it in a game, and I don't know why. Like... I should have been over the moon excited for what was that game? The kind of spiritual successor to Chrono Trigger. Uh, Journey was in Astro. That just made me think of yeah. That. I did. Snow. I did see yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, keep going. What did um, you say? The spiritual successor. Oh, to, I Satuna. Yeah, and part of the reason I didn't play that was I'm like, it's all in the snow. Everything's gonna. It's just snow everywhere. I don't like that. And ended up, I it was a very good game. But this, it's like. And I don't know, maybe it's just because it's New York. Yeah. And most of the time I went to At New York Christmas. City, it was yeah. for Christmas. So that's kind of how I think of New York anyway. But it was just beautiful, especially like night snow when you've got like the black sky with like the snow. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I thought that was beautiful. One other thing that I just thought of here. Remember how Spider-Man 2018, they were like, um, Mr. Negative is the big bad. And I was like, no, he's not. And in this, I was like, that's not going to be the big bad. And it's not. Yeah. Well, and don't spoil, but I'm sure it's going to be like Batman versus Superman. I think I see what you're getting at. <laughs> okay. I, I'm pretty, and it's not a spoiler because that's what I assume is going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, as soon as, what's his name? Simon Crager showed up. I was like, as soon as he started talking, I was like, I know that voice. I know that voice. It's Troy Mother Lovin Baker. Oh, was it? I didn't yeah. even realize that. I, I just love that dude so much. I, I, I love everything he's in. I did not know he was in this game. It's obviously it's a pretty big part in this game, and I just love Troy's voice. Like he's just the man. I could just listen to him read the phone book. I mean, I honestly could. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I love that he's in it. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to beat it in the next couple of days. So I need a Platinum Astrobot. Or I, I keep calling it Astrobot. Astrobot is not in the title. Astro's Playroom. I need to beat this, then work on Platinuming this, and then see if I want to get Call of Duty or not. Um, I don't know about Watch Dogs. And the thing is, like, if I can't even get the stupid... <laughs> cloud <laughs> saves are so annoying. Um, the other thing I want to talk about when it comes to PS5 games is something only Sean can talk about, and we have not talked about this at all, and you said you'd save it for the podcast. So, Sean, is there any reason for me to get Demon Souls? I, Knowing how bad I am at games, what are your thoughts on Demon Souls? Should I even be thinking about getting this game? I don't know. Um <laughs> Other than it being a Soulsborne game, which I knew going into it, I I knew that it was not. I knew that it was different from Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. It is a lot different than Bloodborne. Okay. Um, I think my issue is I'm still trying to play it like Bloodborne, and you can't do that. Um, 
it kind of reminds me, stay with me, of Link's Awakening in that it is very much a dated game that has been re remade really and i think because the original was such an old game i didn't realize demon souls preceded dark, dark souls, souls yeah. i thought it came or somewhere in the middle like maybe dark souls I, one dark souls two yeah demon souls i thought dark it souls went three. dark souls demon souls dark yeah. souls two three bloodborne yeah so this is not it's not an open i mean it's an open world it's like a hub and spoke kind of thing yeah i did not realize that um, so going in, I was just very confused. I'm like, where is this going to take me? And why? And, but I did a bunch of reading online. It's like, no, you go through that gate and there's like this level and you can go back to the, the nexus, the nexus, the nexus, nexus of, of the universe. universe yeah. You can go through that gate and it takes you to this level or you can go through this one and it takes you to this one. There's so like each, five different areas and they all have multiple crazy bosses. Each area I think has three like levels okay and what oh, i've what i've okay. read online is when you beat area one level one do not go to area one level two you will die immediately do area one level I, I one area two level one area three level oh. one four one five one then go back and do one two 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 three two four two five okay. two and then one three two three 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 four three five three that kind of thing and then um, at the end there's an actual end boss i guess i'm guessing okay. yeah so i did beat my first boss um, there's a whole bunch of different classes you can choose from, which I think there's a little bit of that in Bloodborne, but it made almost no difference. Don't don't you just choose your weapon in Bloodborne? Maybe that's all it is. I think that's all it was. I mean, you do the character creator and whatever. But. Yeah. So I chose knight because I just want to be a guy with a sword. Yep. But I'm a legit knight, like full suit of armor, whatever. And your your weight, what do they call it in the game? Encumbrance or something. Um, really affects things. Okay. And so that's part of the, like, in Bloodborne, you're like, you're like, ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Yeah. You're like rolling to dodge yeah. everything. In this, you roll, and it's literally like, oh no, <laughs> I'm a guy full of armor, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> like, you can't roll. If you're trying to roll to evade something, you're gonna get killed. So it's all the shield? It is, but that was part of my other problem. I'm running around with my shield up all the time, which I've read, it's probably not a bad idea, but like, I would see a guy coming at me and I'd just be like, bring it. I'd block it and then, yeah, yeah. and that's fine. But once you start getting to like tougher enemies, A, they're probably going to hit you more than once. So you're going to block it, block it. That's going to take down most of your stamina to where now you've only got enough stamina to probably swing once. Oh, God. So once, so you do still have to dodge, but you can't dodge with rolling. You can, you can just walk around faster than you can roll. So it's almost like you just need to like literally don't roll, don't evade, just using the stick, just try to avoid an okay. attack and then hit, 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 whatever. I'm gonna take this off my wish list right now. This is not, <laughs> I can't play. This it game. is. It's beautiful. I will yeah. say that. No, um, I'm not. But, but see, I don't know that. I think I just spent so much time. I was going to say you put seventy hours in. I think Bloodborne, I feel like I when five. I first started playing. Think of when we first played yeah. Bloodborne. <laughs> I was probably just as confused as I am now yeah. with Demon's. That's Souls. true. So I'm sure there's a learning curve there. So does anybody say what the best? Like, what is a good class or whatever? If 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 the knight's too slow, is there one something thing that's they like said, average in everything that that's well, probably what I would do? There's one. There's knight, and there's another one that I think is like soldier. Which is pretty much like knight, except you look like a normal guy. You're not wearing a full suit of armor. Exactly. So in hindsight, and I can take the armor off. So what I may try doing is just taking all my armor off, knowing I'm going to take more damage, but maybe it will now play more like Bloodborne, and I can yeah. actually roll to evade. So maybe I'll like that better. I haven't gotten to try it yet, but um, I like it. But it is going to take some getting used to. And it's the kind of thing where, like, once I beat it, I'm like, I'm done. I'm going back to Spider-Man. This is going to very much be a long-haul kind of game. Yeah. I can only play it a little bits at a time. Um, but I'm, I'm so confused because I find all this crap, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what this means. And Bloodborne, every time I fund something, I'm like, I know what that is. Well, but... I'm just finding all sorts of... 70 hours in. Yeah, yeah. Um... But yeah, it just feels kind of dated. The whole hub and spoke well, thing. When you're in the hub, there's just like all these people. Hey, here's the guy you can leave stuff with. Hey, here's your blacksmith. Hey, here's the guy you can talk to for the. And they're all just like sitting around. It's just like, it's just a weird. Bloodborne was just more like, whew, 
just this big open world. And but wasn't Bloodborne kind of like what? What was the thing you would go back to where the church was and you'd walk around? You could. So there's still like the shortcuts and stuff where like. Okay. Like I'm here and maybe I need to get to there, but there's a gate here. Oh, but you can. And go I need around. to go. Oh, okay. here's a switch so I can open that gate. So at least Save. now yeah. when I die, I can just go through there instead of having to go all the way around to yeah. get there. Okay. The other weird thing, there's no bonfires like in Dark Souls or the lamp lanterns, whatever. Yeah. In this, like when you die, you go back to the beginning of that level. I heard somebody said the checkpoints are brutal. There's there there basically aren't any, okay. from what I understand. There's still like the shortcuts you can unlock, which okay. help. But like when you die, you're going back to the beginning every time. Is it the same thing as Bloodborne, like with the blood echoes and stuff? If you can get back to who killed you, you can get whatever back, whatever it's called in this. They're just souls. souls but yeah, dumb. I haven't come across any. And in Bloodborne, it was it's like sometimes it happens, sometimes it didn't. Sometimes they're just on the ground. Sometimes you see an yeah. enemy and his eyes are glowing right. and you have to kill him to get your echoes. So far, they've always just been on the ground and I can oh, just okay. go pick them so up. So if you can just get there. Okay. Yeah. And you so, use those to upgrade or whatever? You use them, it's like currency or experience. You okay. can use them to buy weapons, items, whatever, or you use them to level up. Okay. So, I don't know. It's, it's similar to Bloodborne, obviously, but it plays completely different i definitely like it but it is way more different from bloodborne than i was expecting okay but i still it's not like i'm giving up on it by any stretch of the imagination but well, it is going to for take 70 me bucks. yeah it's going to take me a while it's going to be i haven't even looked at the trophies they probably wouldn't mean anything to me anyway everything i read was that it's a yeah i've read it's fair platinum for as fair as it is for a game that difficult but yeah yeah so i don't know We'll see. I like it, but it's I've got a lot of a lot of ways to go for it. Did you look at because I saw there was 180 like hint videos for this, but I heard other people. I talking. haven't looked at any of them. I think it was I think it was Game Scoop I was listening to where they were like, yeah, it's there's all these hint videos or, or no, it was it was Sacred Symbols. Uh, it was like there's all these hint videos and stuff, but really like Demon Souls is its own hint video because like people can still leave you leave you messages and stuff like bloodborne or? yeah but it's weird if it's if again if it's the same you can somehow get help okay but i don't know if it's like ringing a bell in bloodborne or what the system is in bloodborne i never did it and i rarely played online so i'm assuming it's pretty similar in demon souls you can leave like a note but you can't just like hey i want to leave a note here Watch out, there's an enemy hiding oh, up here around the... There's, like, words you can choose from. So anytime you read a hint... Get out! Like, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be like, watch me. out, there's a guy around the corner. It'll be like, fear the Danger. stranger ahead. Like, it's just, like, written in, like, right. these weird... Because you're, like, choosing... There's, like, here's the words, try to make a meaningful message out of it. Yeah. So they're somewhat helpful. Okay. Um, but, yeah. And I'm sure... And one thing that's been fun is I'm seeing a lot of people on Twitter playing it that seem like they've never played it before, that are in the same boat as I am. And they're just like, holy crap, this game is ridiculous. I love it, but I'm just getting killed constantly. Yeah. One thing I will say, I think literally every single time I've died, I've gotten a little bit further the next time. And that's kind of the point. Yeah. Like, you're just, you're going to die. There's nothing you can do about it. And it's meant to just be a learning experience. And. Um, what does Dwight say in the office when he says something like, I would have used that time to figure out what kind of hold he had me, had me in and how I could have escaped from yeah. it or something. It's that kind of thing. It's yeah. like, I know well, I die. I shouldn't have played it that way. Next time I'm going to do this. And if you do it, you're probably going to get a little bit further. But... Well, it's, it's crazy. Like you were saying about how it feels like it's an old game. I was I was hearing people say that they actually Blue Point was able to use the the old code when it comes to the AI and stuff. Like it's the exact same AI from really? the original game, just with the fresh coat of paint and the improvements and stuff. How, is it R one and R two to attack, or is this yeah. a square triangle? Okay, I can't really hate on that. That's how God of War was, and I know it's how Bloodborne was, but. Yeah, so L1 is your shield. L2 is like, I think it's meant to be like a parry, like you swing your shield. Even against the most standard enemies, I have not yet been able to parry an attack. 
I don't know if maybe you can't. Maybe you can only parry certain enemies or certain attacks, but I feel like I've timed it perfectly. And he, like, blocks it, but he blocks it just as well as if I was just holding L1 and had him do this. And so I don't understand. And more stamina? Probably, yeah. yeah. So I, I don't really understand how to do that yet. Um, but, yeah, R1 is attack. R2 is a strong attack. But there's no, at least with the sword, that's it. It's R1, R2. Bloodborne, there was R1, R2, hold R1, hold R2. Right. This one, I think it's just, you can hold it or you can press it and it does the same thing. You can hit triangle to change. I'm sure it varies weapon by weapon, but you can change to using it like two hands, so now you no longer have a shield, but it's probably more powerful. Right. So there's different things like that, but I don't know. What I would say, if it's just a reflection on how good or bad you are at video games, then you can use your Bloodborne experience to figure out if you want to get Demon Souls. But if you were not very good at Bloodborne and it's just because of Bloodborne, don't write this game off. If you weren't very good at Bloodborne and it's because you just think you're just I'm too just old, old and you're not good at video games anymore, then you're probably not going to be very good at this either. But this game is much more just... If you felt overwhelmed, I guess, in Bloodborne, like you don't really get surrounded by enemies too much in this. It's uh, much more like... Yeah, Bloodborne, yeah. you had like... You, there, Sometimes there would be two or area, three. There's like eight dudes coming at you yeah, at once. I've never had more than three guys around okay. me. And usually it's just one or two. Okay. So it's definitely different than Bloodborne. But it's easily just as hard. And right now it seems harder, but it could just be because I'm not used to it. I want to get it, but I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. Did you play anything else on PS5? Did you try the bug snacking? I played bug snacks. I was hoping you did. I have not. What the F is this stupid game? It is a terrible. Really? Good. Now, maybe, not granted, I only played it for like 20 minutes. Okay. It's first person, which I did not realize. And it seems like you it's literally... It's like Pokemon or something, right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it changes. You're literally just catching bugs, which look like food. But like you have a trap. It's like, ooh, there's this... What is it? Straw. It's like a strawberry... Straw... Straw biddle? Straw bowl? Straw bowl? Something like that. It's just a little walking strawberry. And of it's course. like, you can like scan it and it's like, ooh, it's just walking in this like oval path. But if you get too close, it's going to hide. But you can see this path that it takes. So go take your trap and just put it on that path and walk away so it'll come back out. And then when it walks across your trap, hit a button and you'll grab it. And then you caught it. And in the beginning, once you catch it, you like give it to this guy and he eats it. And then his the hand turns into a strawberry. Like, oh, yeah, oh. fiddle, fiddle, faddle, whatever his name is. Fredo, fiddle, faddle. Fredo, that's probably his full name. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was your chair. Right? Oh, I was going to say, was that your butt? <laughs> was it my butt? <laughs> um, but like, I don't know. I, I'm guessing it gets a little bit different later in the game. But it's like... <clears throat> You got to catch them all. I don't really like Animal Crossing. And one of the worst parts of Animal Crossing was catching bugs. Yeah. Pretty much the worst part of any Zelda game that yep. I've ever played that you can catch bugs in it. Catching bugs is the worst part of it. That's it's literally insane. all you're doing in this game. Like, I get, like, maybe you like the characters. Maybe the writing's good. Maybe it's just a funny world, whatever. But, like, when it comes down to it, you're literally just catching bugs. The bugs happen to look like food. But they're literally just bugs. They crawl around on the ground. Some of them fly in circles. Like, you're just catching bugs. And maybe it changes later on. I feel like this is just a game where it's like, ha, 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 bug snacks. And now it's cool to like bug snacks because it's such a weird, stupid game that if you like it, that actually means you're cool. So everybody's, it's just, I don't get it. It does not seem fun at all. Maybe it changes later on. It's not very fun. And it looks like a PS3 game. Does it really? Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know. I mean, it's one of those games that's not meant to look, you know, like. Right. But I don't know. It, it's at a 74 It's clean on and crisp and colorful and whatever, but, like, there's no reason this game couldn't have been on PS3. It could have been on PS2 and just looked a little worse, but, like, I don't know. I don't know that I'll go back. 
even though it is probably a pretty easy platinum, if I had to guess. Uh, that I don't know. I saw uh, Trevor Starkey got it yesterday after he already got Astro and Miles. I'm like, good lord, <laughs> you don't have kids. <laughs> well, <laughs> clearly. Yeah. And I got four. I got he got kids. <laughs> I got kids. Uh, that's it for the PS5 games, right? Um. Yeah, that's all I played. You played something else before the PS5 came out. I did. How in the blue hell did you get the Platinum in Hollow Knight? So for the most part, a lot of it was stuff I had already done before. On Um, Switch? On Switch. Yeah, okay. Um, There was some stuff that like I hadn't done, but it's just... Wait, 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 wait. Does it have cross-save? No. I'm just saying it's nothing I hadn't already done before. I just had to do it again. again. Okay. okay. Um, But there was some stuff that like... There's this mushroom guy you got to find. And once you talk to him, he shows up somewhere else. You got to like find him seven different locations. Okay. And it's like he makes a little cameo in the end once you beat him. But you got to do that for a trophy. There's like random things like that. There's the whole like journal, like your bestiary yeah. where you have to kill all the enemies. And on top of that, you need to kill so many of all the enemies. Oh. Once you kill them once, they show up in your journal. But then it'll be like kill nine more to unlock the full thing. You have to do that for all of them. Um it was tough. Some of the bosses, the stupid. There's this one boss. So the DLC, which I wonder if you had just gotten Hollow Knight, maybe it didn't exist, but this is the Hollow Knight, the Void Heart edition. Yeah, it which, didn't exist before the Void Heart edition. Okay, that's why. Because I'm on, like, I know PS4, this. Yeah. I know all this grim stuff is like the Grim Troop DLC. But you needed to do it as part of this platinum. I'm like, okay. so if you got the non Void Heart edition, would that not be part of it? But I guess that just doesn't exist. Um, that was one thing I hadn't done in the past is completed that DLC. And okay. the final boss, there's a lot of bosses where you fight them once in the game and then you can fight like a nightmare version of them later on, which is just like a souped up, faster, bigger, stronger right. version of them. The final boss of the Grim Troop thing is kind of tough. But then to really beat the Grim Troop DLC, you need to beat the Nightmare version of that boss. It was probably harder. So Bloodborne. Yes. Some of the I bosses say, I yes. struggled with, it was like just making sure you dodge at the right time. Look for the tell and then dodge at the right time and then just run up and hi 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 This was like... As I'm talking, I'll pull up a video of it just so you can see. Was this harder than Cuphead? E- you have platinum Cuphead, <laughs> Bloodborne, and Hollow Knight. Yeah, I never even beat Hollow Knight because I was just like, I, I'm not, I'm not good enough at this. If I can't beat Hollow Knight, uh, I mean, I probably could have. I just walked away from it. But then I should not be even thinking about Demon Souls. <laughs> I mean, they're two totally different I things. Know. Um. Okay. Well, this is somebody beating it hitless. Which is just ridiculous. But, oh, of course, Wi-Fi. Um, the boss does double damage. So you take two hits. You, get, you lose two health right. instead of just one health. Um, she has, or she, I call it a she. I guess it's actually a he. But he's got all these different attacks and they're very fast. And you have to know which one he's going to do and where you should be to dodge what he's doing. It was just very, everything had to be very looks like a planned. She. Yeah, but it's a he. His, it's the Nightmare King. Okay. Um, this is so... F- oh, my God. He's just super fast. It's and you so need to fast. just Like, Bloodborne, some of the more difficult bosses was just like, just run up and do as much damage as you can and then run away before it hits you kind of thing. Yeah, that. Um, this was like, you need to know... You can only get hit four... Because you also have, like, no time to heal. So you yeah. can pretty much get four what, hits. Those spikes just came out of the floor with no warning. <laughs> it's ridiculous but i mean i eventually that thing it did where it blew up like a puffer fish yeah. and shooting all the fireballs it does that at 75 percent, 50 percent, 25 percent. okay so you, know so you can kind of yeah okay i died the first like five or six times i played i didn't even get him to do that once and i'm like i'm not making any progress here and then i eventually got there and then once i got a feel for it i started it just started rolling and all of a sudden I'd get to where he did it a second time. And then, Oh my God, he did it a third time. I'm getting close. And then I would die. But like, 
at least in like Bloodborne, some of the bosses were like, I don't know if I can beat this because it's just. I feel like I beat Bloodborne without being as good as a lot of people that have platinumed Bloodborne. I feel like I played it a weird way, and I'm just like, I'm gonna just run up and I'm gonna hack and slash. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't do that in this game. You'll get okay. destroyed. So part of me was like, I know I can beat this. I just need to learn the patterns and just. And it's where the, in my mind, these perfect controls really help in this yeah. game because you you need it to like be able to dodge some of this crap and it was tough um i think it took me i know i was right at 24 hours right before the bad. very last couple things i did so i probably ended up like 26 27 hours to platinum it um that's not bad no it's not it's not horrible a lot less than bloodborne yeah, and at least you don't have... Once you beat it... You don't have to beat it five times like Bloodborne. Right, and there's no, like, beat it in under this much time. Yeah. Once you beat it, you unlock Steel Shade Mode or something like that, where it's basically permadeath. If you die, you die. And I'm like, thank God they don't make you have to beat oh, that. Oh, okay. No, you don't, but okay. that's what I'm saying. That's, like, that was like the one thing I was looking for. When I when I looked at the trophies, I'm like, as long as I don't have to do that, I think I can do well, it. Well, that's why I never even went for the Platinum and Chasm, because I was like, I love this game. I would like to Platinum it, but you have to beat it in permadeath mode. Yeah. Like, the, the, no way. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that was how I bid farewell to my PS4. Do you still have it hooked up? Mine's hooked up it's just in my cabinet PlayStation graveyard with my PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 2. They're know. all just like piling up down PS2. there. I'm like, I don't even know what to do with these. Yeah. They just sit there. I'll probably end up putting the PS4 upstairs in the yeah, main cave. Just so it's just there. I think I'm going to move mine back to the living room just so the kids can play on and stuff. But up here, it's like there's just not a lot of space and I don't know. Yeah. Well, Sean... Normally, I would ask if you want to get to the news of the week, but we've been going for an hour and 45 minutes already. So we're going to run through. I have... Is there any news? I have one item on the news list. Okay. And I'm not going to put in the video here because it's just, there's not worth it. Uh, we got the NPD results for October. Is there anything else we want to add on the PS5? I love it. I'm trying to think if there's... Uh, I don't. I never take notes as we've discussed. Oh, I yeah, probably let should me have. see. I, I, I never feel like there was my notes. one or two random things that I wanted to bring up, and I'm trying to think if I actually did or not. The base not clicking is super weird. The UI confuses me. It loads so fast. Oh, I did write it's not super quiet. I noticed that when it boots up, like there's a hum or something, probably because we have the disc version. Yeah. But then that kind of goes away, and then it is kind of quiet. Like It's you can pretty quiet thing, in general. Yeah. But it's not like it's... I don't know what I'm pointing at. It's downstairs. It's not like it's not like a jet engine's going to take off. But it's not. No, no, it's not dead quiet. But but it's pretty quiet. Yeah. yeah, it's way quieter than the PS4. Yeah. Okay. So NPD results for October are in. Number one, FIFA 21. Number two, Madden 21. Of course. Number three, Watch Dogs Legion. Wow. I am to the point now, though, uh, unless this game, maybe I'm hoping I will like it more now that all the choppiness is gone, if I can ever get my save to download. But if I don't, they're not fooling me again. Like, I loved Watch Dogs 2, but after this, I'm like, not a lot of people really did love Watch Dogs 1 or 2. It, it seems like more people liked Watch Dogs 2 than 1, but it sold way less than the first one did. I don't know that we ever get a fourth one, but if they do and this doesn't turn around, they're, they're, I'm not going to get it again. Just yeah. give me GTA 6 for crying out loud. Yeah. I, I just keep trying to find something. Oh, that's what I was going to say about Miles. I almost think the reason I'm not so in love with it that I think I'm just like, I am open worlded out at this point. You know? Yeah. Uh, everything's open world, and it's just, I don't know. Uh, number four, EA continues dominating. NHL 21 debuted at number four. That is shocking. I wonder if it's because if you pre-ordered whatever edition, the you get NHL, NHL 94, 94. The, the rewind thing. Number five, Funny that this even counts, but it's number five, Mario Kart Home Circuit. Hmm. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, whatever the name whatever. is. Whatever, yeah. Number six, Mario 3D All-Stars. Wow. Well, number seven, Animal Crossing. <laughs> number eight, Star Wars Squadrons. Number nine, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Number 10, Crash Bandicoot 4. 
Good for the Bandicoot. I don't care. But now that the Insane Trilogy is on the PS Plus collection. I was looking at that. I went ahead and added everything. Just Can so you they do it on added. the app? I couldn't find it anywhere. You have to do it on the PS5. It's so I think stupid. so. Okay. Um, I almost downloaded that. I think it was when I ended up downloading Bug Snacks. I'm like, okay. I'm kind of spider man out. I don't have it in me to go back to Demon Souls yet. I'm like, let me just look through these games. And yeah. then I saw Bug Snacks. I'm like, I downloaded I'll Bugs try Snacks, it out. But, I but then I looked through the whole PS Plus thing and I'm like, I kind of want to try Crash. There's a lot that I want to try, but Last Guardian. all just seem, yeah, Last Guardian, Monster I definitely want to try. In there, which I don't know that it's for me, but it sold a billion copies. So I feel like I should try. There's Final so Fantasy many, 15 like, there. It, it just seems so overwhelming to me. Like, I want to try Crash. That I can just pick up and play, and I'll yeah. know in a half hour if I like it or not. Uncharted 4, Sean. I want to play Uncharted. I'll probably play through God of War again at some point. Good night, um, James. I'm sorry you got to wake up at 4.30. Ugh. Um, I'm kind of interested in, like, Detroit Become Human. But, like, all these games are, like, they're just such a commitment. They're all, like, like, 20, 30-hour games, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know when I'm ever actually going to dive into any of them some point though yep year to date the number one best-selling game of course is call of duty modern warfare followed by animal crossing i'm surprised that's not number one that stupid ass effing game <laughs> but that's on one platform call of duty's on everything yeah, yeah. number three <laughs> is madden 21 wow. selling more than the last of us part two wow. but again madden is on both and pc whatever yeah number four is uh last of us part two like i said number five ghost of tsushima Number six, Final Fantasy VII Remake. So Sony is bang, bang, bang with exclusives. Wow. Number seven this year, Avengers. You will notice that I did not list it in October. It dropped from number one in September to 14 in October. Also, by the way, this stupid game. I Nobody talks about it anymore. No. Nope. I went from not being able to get away from it to just Thank like. Thank God. I'm nobody so even sick talks of it. it and by the way, it's rumored that it had a budget of $190 million and it has lost Square Enix Sixty million dollars reportedly. Wow! They sold around sixty percent of what their forecast was for this game. I don't know how you take something as because you try to turn it into Destiny, and it should not be Destiny. All you had to do was just give us an awesome single-player Avengers game. Yeah, not a game as a service. Yeah, number eight for the year: Mario 3D All Stars. That makes me happy. That's even though only one shocking. of the games is good. Sorry, James. Please watch James' videos. <laughs> Number nine, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Wow. Wow. Number 10, this will blow you away. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. How the hell is that the number 10 best-selling game of the year so far? Do not understand it. Didn't it come out last year, I think? I think that was a 2019 It seems game. like we've been talking who about knows, it forever. Yeah, who knows but... what 2020 is? Yeah. So... Yeah, uh, we also got some Switch sales updates overall. Uh, in the last quarter, the Switch sold 6.85 million units. It's now up over 68.3 million Switches sold. That counts regular and light, and obviously we know a Pro is going to be coming out by March would be my guess. Wow. Animal Crossing, like we said, it's the number two best-selling game of the year. It has sold over 26 million. Wait, how many Switches? 68.3 million. In like two and a half years? Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. I mean, it's still a lot, but... It passed the NES with this last update. Wow. Mario 3D All-Stars so far has sold 5.2 million copies. And that doesn't count digital, so it's even more than that. Because uh, remember, uh, the NPD, it's uh, yeah, Nintendo yeah. doesn't report digital sales. I don't know why. It makes no sense. Hmm. I'm going to be so mad. I say it every time we talk about Animal Crossing. This stupid game is going to get so many Game of the Year awards, and it's just infuriating. Like, Last of Us Part Two is not my favorite game of the year. But to, to, if you would actually vote for Animal Crossing over that, please just get rid of your gamer card. Throw it out. And now, Sean, it's time for the wrap-up. What is that sound? That's a pencil sharpener. Oh. Or a dot matrix printer. <laughs> Ratchet & Clank has been confirmed to be a PS5-only game, which I assumed it had to be but once they yeah. said miles morales and horizon are coming on ps4 i was like maybe not but there was no way with all that instantaneous loading that they could do it on ps4 no uh so that is coming out in the first half of uh 2021 also grand theft no 
Gran Turismo 7 is coming out in the first half of 2021 as well. And Horizon Forbidden West is targeting the second half of 2021. I wrote down here, there's no way we're getting God of War next year, like they say. But they put out Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima a month apart. So Yeah, but I think their hand was kind of forced. Like yeah, They're, they're like, like, we're running out of time. Yeah. Uh, here take them uh, the only way i could see it happening is if horizon is like early september july and <laughs> god of war is like november if they do september something. if they do september november that i think that's spaced out enough yeah but i've when they said 2021 for god of war i was like no it's gonna be march or april 22 yeah, that's what it is i still don't believe that uh rocket league is getting a next gen upgrade for 4k 60 frames per second gameplay uh speaking of ghost of tsushima earlier now and now what <laughs> I'm so tired. Earlier now and now. They have sold over 5 million copies. Pretty good. Number five best selling game of the year, 5 million copies. So that means you got to think Last of Us Part Two is five and a half, six million, seven million, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. This is for us and Nick Schifani and John Bernardo. AEW revealed a very early look at their game, and I am so happy. It looks not that great, <laughs> and it shouldn't. Because I don't care what it looks like. The fact that the director of No Mercy is working on this game is like... I'm trying not to get my you. hopes up. Cody said it's a quote-unquote No Mercy style of wrestling game. Yeah, <sighs> I mean, I'm sure it will at least be more like No Mercy than... Than freaking 2K. Anything else, yeah. But I literally, I want No Mercy. Yeah. I want No Mercy with better, it doesn't have to be great, but better graphics. Look a little bit better. Don't change anything else. Yep. But I don't know if we're going to get that. I've got my hopes up, so we'll see. Uh, Deathloop is officially now apparently coming out May 2021. Stop doing these release dates. You delayed it till 2021. May is still six months away. Why even Just, say yeah, it? don't even. Just leave it at 2021 until you're like, okay, are we like two weeks away from going gold? Okay, let's announce a release date for a month and a half from now, whatever. Yeah. So we'll see if it sticks. Uh, the Neo <laughs> Collection, which we, we was, I was trying to say was or which for some reason, which was announced this week is coming out on PS5 with Neo 1 and 2 plus all DLC full remasters coming out February 2021. I'm so, Bloodborne, maybe you, I don't know. I Neo don't know much free. about it. You might have that in your library, actually. I think that was on PS Plus really? at some point. The first one, yeah. Hmm. Uh, the long rumored and everybody knew it was happening, but now official Mass Effect Legendary Edition was finally revealed. It's coming out spring 2021. Um, also a new Mass Effect is in development for you Mass Effect fans. I hope it's not Andromeda too. <laughs> uh, we also got some quick updates on Resident Evil Village. It will have 4k and ray tracing, almost no load times. The PS5 version will take advantage of adaptive triggers and haptics for the gunplay. Oh, that's going to be... And it will have 3D audio. That's horrible. Oh, God. Yeah. Also, uh, I saw this going around on Twitter. The uh, The actor for Leon in the RE2 remake posted some pics of him in a mocap suit. So RE4 make is happening. I'm way more excited for this than you are. I'm I'm super happy. My biggest thing is, and I still stand by it, this game doesn't need a remake as much as Code I Veronica. agree. I agree. But I, I can't wait. I think that's awesome. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Almost two hours. Thank you guys so much for being here for episode 208. We hope you got your next gen systems if you wanted them. Um, if you didn't, then just enjoy the content all over the places. Um, obviously, you know, you can find us at nerd901.com. Shout out to nerd901. They hit their $5,000 goal for, extra for the life. kids. Awesome job, guys. Um, yeah, fantastic work. Hopefully, next year we can get back to a normal quote unquote extra life. We'll have a lot of fun then. Uh, but shout out to them. But yeah, nerd901.com. We're there connecting nerds across the Mid South and the multiverse. Um, so yeah, you can find us on Twitter. I'm at Kevin White. Oh, and also check out Ernie the Blur Without Fear, youtube.com slash blur without fear, twitch.tv slash blur without fear. You can find us on Twitter. I'm at Kevin White24. He's at Real Sean White together at two player underscore <laughs> co op. Not even, not even funny. Knew it was going to happen. Had to stop it. Um, 
Patreon, Twitch, YouTube, audio services around the globe, all that other stuff. Thank you guys so much for being here. We will be Knack. Oh, thank God we don't have Knack 3. Because I said we will be Knack. Because I was trying to say we will be back next week, but I said we will be Knack next week. Next week. That's it. Episode 208. Thank you guys for being here. We'll be back next week. Sean, go ahead and take us out. Thank you for playing.